r slash ask reddit, what are your favorite real life examples of siding with bad guy? UMM, so about the 1986 movie. Coronation Starscream. This is bad comedy. Pedro Rodriguez Villo. He was the inspiration for Dexter. While yes murdering people is bad he singled out drug dealers, murderers, and rapists. Holy shit, link what a read. I was a big fan of Razor Ramon. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Hey yo. Me too, but before him I was a fan of Nikita Koloff before he turned face. During WW2, the Mafia guarded US ports in New York against potential infiltrators. Sony and Philips teaming up to make the CD. Microsoft buying Apple stock to help them out. The US teaming up with Stalin to defeat Hitler. At least Churchill was quite open about it. After Germany invaded the Soviet Union and Great Britain joined the Soviets, he said if Hitler invaded hell I would make at least a favorable reference to the devil in the House of Commons. But who killed Hitler? Allied troops teaming up with the White Wehrmacht to defeat the SS at their home base. I found this, link. Which was the last days of the war, and it seems like a prison for high-value political prisoners was going to be liquidated by the SS. Elements of US and German military groups defended the prisoners from the assault on May 5, 1945. I strongly agree with Hitler on one thing. Killing Hitler being a good thing. I heard it, Hitler's not so bad. He did kill Hitler. Yeah but he also killed the guy who killed Hitler. But then he killed the guy who killed the guy who killed Hitler. R slash angry upvote. Damn whatever person talked him out of it when he called the hotline in the 1920s. And GT, Sony and Philips teaming up to make the CD. Or to take credit from James T. Russell, link. Eh, by the time he did it, it was actually a bad idea. Gary Flosh. I personally wouldn't call him a bad guy but he did commit first degree murder which is generally frowned upon. It was 100% justified, he's a hero, not a bad guy emo. Finland siding with Hitler in WW2. Feels weird, we don't talk about it much in here. Except that Ulla Silvanoinen and HS have kept publishing new theories about it all the time. It's good to remember that the result was that in the Lapland War and the subsequent FCMA, YYA, Treaty, Finland sided with the Soviet Union, which was not a good guy either. The dirty laundry on that one hasn't been washed. I always play as Razor Ramon in the WrestleMania the arcade game. Chia Lobber vs 4chan. Andy 6 vs 4chan. The sheer lengths they went through were honestly impressive. Using star charts and flight paths to find a flag in a fucking field, all for the lulls. I live in a neighborhood with a large immigrant and first gen population. Tons of them are anti-immigration. That seems a little odd, but I get it. I lived abroad for a few years, and I hated the foreign workers that were working illegally under the table. It felt like they were making life more difficult for documented workers. Oftentimes they got better jobs than those of us who were on the books. It's not anti-immigration, it's anti-illegal immigration. Yes, there is a huge difference. Sonic teaming up with Mario to compete with Xbox and PlayStation, remember the Sega vs SNES wars? Edward Snowden the only people who said he was the enemy was the US government because he was exposing their corruption. Romney shaking hands with Saddam. In fiction, a lot of people sure root for Dexter and Yagami Light. The U.S. getting in bed with Manuel Noriega. Who lad that is one hell of a stain in our country's history in Latin America. King Hussein of Jordan. He was not a good guy. But when the PLO started their terrorism rabble rousing in Jordan, he dropped a hammer on them like Thor. What a bizarre oversimplification of this entire situation, completely devoid of all historical context. Good job. Nature conservation groups and hunters. Any member of America's Republican Party who's trying to wrest control of the party from the mega movement. I've considered Republicans to be the bad guys for much of my adult life, but there are some on the political right who give me hope the party can be saved and, by extension, so can the efficacy of our government. I used to not like Mitt Romney and Chris Christie, now they're the only sane ones. Can't say it's remotely a favorite, but it's a disappointing constant. Useful Westerners siding with any number of Islamist slash terrorist organizations because they are the underdog. Sega does what Nintendo not I feel bad for Sonny Liston. He really deserved better. When Kim Jong-un called our president a dotard. And then half of the population was like, that's not a word, only to find out they were very wrong. When Larry Davis, 
a New York drug dealer shot six cops when they tried to assassinate him during his arrest. 1986 they raided his apartment building to arrest him on suspicion of murdering a rival drug dealer. A dozen SWAT officers began shooting at him. That was before he went for his pistol and fired back at officers before booking it down the alley. The officers were allegedly paid off to murder Davis. They failed but he surrendered days later. He was convicted of the murder of the drug dealer. As for shooting the officers, he got off on self-defense. Anyone that gets revenge on a Como. What's Como? Especially the inherently evil Robocomo. Why would you get revenge on chocolate milk? Hell yeah. Comas are the worst presumably. If someone is in prison and takes out a pedo they should be given a steak dinner and flat screen TV in their cell. Yes, but at that point Sega stopped manufacturing consoles and continued solely as a software developer so Sonic had to go somewhere if not Nintendo then I'm sure you'd have seen a Sonic slash Crash matchup. Uh, lawyer here. You know how often prison guards suggest an inmate they don't like is a pedo? A lot. I've had to rush copies of my clients' criminal records to prisons on several occasions because the guards basically put a hit out on them for being annoying. Most of my mates haha poor decisions with great results. That killdozer guy. The guy who built himself a bloody tank in his shop and went on a rampage. Hard not to sympathize and kind of agree with him. Nah, the guy was a loon who was pissed about zoning laws. Chris Dorner. And GT, Chris Dorner. I knew about the case, but I didn't know his motivations. Fuck, dude was actually somewhat justified, and then the LAPD lied about the whole thing. Still batshit insane and did appear to kill at least one innocent person, but still. His underlying reasoning for the attack made sense. I guess what they say is true. Can't corner the Dorner. During the American Revolution, the founding fathers of the United States sought support from the French monarchy, which had an absolute monarchy system and was seen by many as oppressive. Despite these differences, the founding fathers believed that French assistance was important in gaining independence from British rule, and thus aligned with the French monarchy. Removed. When people suck up the bully or stand up for a narcissist. The entire group of people that disavows the Holocaust. There was a story years ago in SoCal, a high school kid was picking on a blind student. Another student saw it and cold cocked the bully. The student who defended the blind student was on the verge of being expelled. The community, myself included, wrote emails of support. He ended up getting a short suspension. Moral of the story, don't bully because you never know if you're being watched by somebody with nothing to lose. I loved Starscream from the odd cartoon. I wanted him to take out Megatron and then take out Prime so bad when I was a kid. I really wanted the Decepticons with Starscream as their leader to conquer. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.